Milan. Milan or Milano. So we are here. Yeah, <laughs> and in our bag we see the most beautiful spot from Milano, I think. Duomo di Milano. Duomo di Milano. And we are here early morning to avoid the crowd, but the city has still woken up. There's so many things going on around us. And we'll take you to some more amazing places in Milan. And, and we will go to the best food spots in Milan because they say Milan is the place to get good Italian food. But our levels are already pretty high because we are in Italy already for some, uh, for so some long, weeks. Yeah. So uh, let's see if Milan can beat the rest of Italy. So let's start the video. Now it's like one big photo and video shoot place. It's crazy how many people are making, I don't know, TikToks maybe and video, uh, video shoots. It's, it's really funny to see. Why is it funny? If we are huh? vlogging, that's even funnier. Yeah, we do the same, but it's really fun to see how others are doing it. And these, like, yeah, these girls are like pro in posing, so I watch and learn. <laughs> so where are we going, Mira? Yay! It's time for our first breakfast today first breakfast I yes say, it's gonna I be first, first breakfast. breakfast because uh, i will explain later why <laughs> yeah we are in the famous shopping center there's so many brands and stuff and they're all closed now but we'll show you this place in the afternoon look, look at this it's like this is the quietest it can get place where are we going we are going to I will show you when we're there <laughs> so we are there it is called uh, Giovanni Cova and Co I guess and they say it's like the second best breakfast place the first best breakfast breakfast place we will go later Our first breakfast and that is a typical Italian breakfast is a croissant with an espresso I have Chino now but normally they, they, they add the espresso and they eat something sweet because they think that the breakfast should be not that heavy they just eat a croissant and uh, it's always sweet and that's what we do now as well typical Italian yeah but the coffee is really good so I got an espresso try the chocolate croissant now oh yeah see if it's really that good like the second best Okay, the thing is if I bite it here, the chocolate always starts a bit later. So but I can try the chocolate now. Oh, I need to first jar. Is your hands clean? Yeah. Mm, is yeah. It good? Yeah. Oh mm. yeah. How is it? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, you see the chocolate coming out. I'm going to miss this so much. Mmm. So good. So we are at the Castle of Milan, also known as Castello Sponsesco. It was built in the 14th century and I think later on it was uh, more broadened up in 15th or 16th century but it is pretty old and this is like the Castle of Milan. It's like also one of the most touristy places, but now we are a bit early so it's not going to be that packed and it's also an art museum inside so I don't know if it's open or not. But if, but if it's open, we'll take you inside. So now 
it's time to go to our second food place and that is something I think you will just eat once in your life and then just never again because it cannot be healthy. Oh, don't know anymore what I said before but what I wanted to say is like this place, uh, they have something which I think you can just eat once in your life and that is That's fried rude. pizza. Yeah, it is so cool and so smart whoever has invented that because we watched some videos and we watched some photos and it looked really good. So let's take you, is it far from here? No, it's just there. So let's take you there. Yay. I can have one uh, pesto yeah. and uh, spinach. Sure. They're still warm. So it's time and to try it out. Oh wait. What? You want to try yours first? Yeah, it's okay. really warm, so this one's I don't know, they just refill it. You have to show what's inside. Mmm, the pesto. Mmm, it's really nice. I thought it would be super like, ju uh, fatty, you know? It, of course, it is a bit of fat, but it's really fluffy. And the outside is a bit uh, crispy. And the inside is really amazing with the pesto. Oh, I'm gonna try another. You have to show the bigger part. Oh, the cheese, oh. eh? Yeah, nice. Really good. Yeah. I said before, maybe you just eat it once in your life, but I think you can maybe eat it every day. Maybe we can go day. again in the evening. <laughs> now, who invented this, that you have a pizza and then you fold the pizza, fry it, and then this, this happens. And it's for cheap, but in the city center, everything is so expensive. And it was, what, 280? 280, yeah. 280, insane. Yeah, it's filming. So something really sad happened with this video. It's not that sad. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, so for some reason, I lost some footage of exploring Milan. Not some footage. Some footage, footage <laughs> that we lost from 10 o'clock until 6 o'clock. Yeah. So we lost it all day. Yeah, and we had so many cool things. We eat like typical, the most typical Milano food. We had the best ice cream and mm -hmm. oh yeah, we, we did so, we saw so many nice areas and it's all gone. Whose fault is it? I don't know, the computer, artificial No, I think it's probably, <laughs> I, I messed up something which I still don't know. We have no clue. But yeah. Anyways, so some things might not make any sense in the video, but still continue watching. Yeah, and oh, what do you think of our sweaters? It's so nice. We are warm. back in the Netherlands and it's so nice and cozy. Yeah, so, but yeah, let's go back to the video when it was still a bit warmer. Yeah. So it's almost sunset time and now we came again to the cathedral and it's as beautiful as how it was in the morning, but still pretty now like when the sunlight falls on this you can actually see all the details on the architecture and it's just crazy amazing amazing what do you think Mira really pretty spectacular yeah, really nice see lots of uh, men gods Jesus Mira is sad because she's craving for pizza <laughs> Like there's one pizza place here in Milan, like it's crazy the, the, the comments, like everyone loves it. But we are not sure if it's open on a Monday and uh, some website says it's open, some website says it's not You would open. know. So yeah. We're and trying to call uh, them and we cannot even come. reach this. But so yeah. and otherwise it gets uh, McDonald's I think, there's crazy many McDonald's here in Milano, every yeah. corner. But they don't have vegetarian ah, food. Here they will. Sure. Oh well, we'll see. But we won't go to McDonald's no worries. No. <laughs> no way. That's a shame. <laughs> no, no, no. So we were searching for the best pizza in Milano 
but all the pizza places they open around what 7 30 or 7 no and many of them are closed on mondays and yeah. it's monday so yeah there were just pizza places where i think yeah it's not it's not good it's just not good to go there so where did i get my pizza from was well, the same place as this morning and me fried pizza and my pizza and mira is a yay so nice something nutritious mira is done with pizza so she's just having a pokeball so after my delicious dinner i don't know about uh, mira's uh, dinner <laughs> who eats pokeball in italy mango man. and avocado Mwah. yeah yeah so now we are on a dessert hunt and we no, actually, yeah. we, we kind of know what we want. Yeah, no, so. that like, we thought in Italy the last thing we should eat is of course tiramisu. With the view of the cathedral. And they say the best tiramisu is here in Milano. So really? I don't know. Yeah, people say it's the best tiramisu <laughs> they have had, so. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah. They have other. So, Mira. So, also no tiramisu. We couldn't find the tiramisu, it was already over in the store. Oh, so sad. I really believe it was a really good tiramisu. Yeah, well, but it was also a bit expensive. Well, I mean, okay. it's, a, it's a touristy place in the, yeah. near the city center, so everything you would find is expensive. But anyway, that brings us to the end of the video. We really hope that you enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.